Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I figured I would do something very reminiscent of uh, when I first started recording YouTube videos. This was, I mean, close to a decade ago. So I'm sitting on my floor. I have all my stacks of manga. So I want to share with you some of my favorite manga reads of uh, 2021. Not every single series got published in 2021, but um, I read all of them in 2021. So let me start off with shoujo which is uh the bulk of my collection i love shoujo manga i know some people look down on shoujo because they assume since it's marketed towards younger girls that it's just fluffy romance series or slice of life series but there's so much more to shoujo honestly people are missing out they're missing out completely so uh these are some of my top reads there were more. It was very hard to narrow it down to just these guys. So uh, one of my favorite ones was A Sign of Affection. Uh, I've spoken about this multiple times. I spoke about this at San Diego Comic Con. So you have two college students, you have a world traveler, and a deaf girl. This is such a great series. The, the storytelling is beautiful. The fact that they incorporate sign language into this, it's very well done. Uh, the artwork is stunning. The storytelling is beautiful. Um, this is definitely, I think, Sumorishita's strongest work, both as a storyteller as well as uh, artwork. So they're a duo, and I think this is their strongest work yet. If you haven't read this, I highly recommend it. There are three volumes out so far. Volume four comes out in the, literally just a few days. So yes, I'm very excited. And yeah. It's a beautiful shoujo, what can they say? What can they say? So a shoujo that took me by surprise completely. This I would describe as Jujutsu Kaisen, but make it shoujo. It's dark. Um, some things are very, not depressing, but they do deal a lot with mental health issues. There's a lot of action as well. Uh, there's some romance as well, but it's not the, it's not the focal point. So we have a, QQ Sweeper in Queen's Quality. This is a work of art. <laughs> it's so good. I I got hooked on it. Um, this was a series that my friend Colleen, Colleen Carney, was recommending a lot on TikTok. I decided to give it a try and I just dove right in. I write all 13 volumes plus the three volumes of QQ Sweeper. Uh, it took me on an emotional journey. There was a lot of highs, a lot of lows, and it, every single time they accomplished something, like I was rooting for, and I still am, for Kitaro and Fumi. Kitaro, Fumi. It's so good. The storytelling is amazing. The artwork also, I mean, let me just show you. Like, it gets dark. This is not... <laughs> This is not your fluffy shoujo at all. It gets dark. So very similar to Jujutsu Kaisen where they have to exterminate curses. Here they have to exterminate um, basically the bad thoughts of people who are dealing with uh, very dark thoughts and emotions. So they're sweepers here. <laughs> so they're not Jujutsu sorcerers, they're sweepers in this in this world. So yes, if you do plan to get into QQ Sweeper, Queen's Quality, start with the prequel. There's three volumes of QQ Sweeper. Um, this explains their backstory as well as what sweepers do, how they how they do what they do, and then jump into Queen's Quality. Um, technically, Kyosuke Motomi, um, she mentions that you can just dive right in, but I feel like if you don't have the backstory, you're gonna be like, what is going on? Because uh, volume three of QQ Sweeper is basically the beginning of an arc, which picks right up in volume one of Queen's Quality. So definitely start off with the prequel. You won't regret it. But yeah, this series will take you on a journey. Like it is intense, but so well written. The, uh, the romance is, uh, it gives me butterflies. Like it's that cute. These two, mm, cuties, I love them. Best boy, cute title right there. So yes, highly recommend, highly recommend. This is also a work of art. We have Fiance of the Wizard, which is a, this is a romance isekai. Um, you know, I was not the biggest fan of isekai, but 
there's been a few uh, that I've read recently that have really, you know, proved me wrong and this is one of them. This is beautiful. The storytelling is beautiful because it started off as a light novel that got adapted into manga. So yes, it has some of the most beautiful artwork as well. Also, there's a lot of action, a lot of magic. So if you like that, uh, I think you'll definitely enjoy this. But yeah, it's just so well done. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you some more. There are four volumes out. It is a completed series. Volume four just came out um, just a few weeks ago. Once again, the story will take you on a beautiful journey. There's definitely some romance in this, but like I mentioned, there's also action. There's also magic and lots of drama but good drama. Now for a slice of life comedy, we have Skip and Loafer, which I adore and it is going to be getting an anime. So Skip and Loafer is the story of Mitsumi. She is a country girl that moves to Tokyo that has huge dreams, but homegirl is just very awkward, um, doesn't really know how to connect with the city kids, and um, yeah, it's cute, it's refreshing, it's just relatable. Uh, you have another best boy right here, look at him, <laughs> so cute. This story not only follows Mitsumi and Sosuke, but you also get to meet her other classmates, so it's just fun. It's so fun, so lighthearted, so if you want something that's not super intense, Skip and Loafer. Skip and Loafer is definitely going to be uh, a good shoujo. Well, technically in Japan, it is not a shoujo, it's a seinen, but at every single store that I've been to where they categorize series by their demographic, um, like Kinokuniya, this is always in the shoujo section and it feels very much like a shoujo, so I'm going to say it's a shoujo, okay? <laughs> now for let's keep it lighthearted. I'll save this for last. Lighthearted, my love mix up. So the title says it all. It's literally a mix up. So you have our three main characters in the cover, and you have this boy who has a crush on this girl, and one day she lets him borrow a an eraser that has a name of uh, this boy right here. And um, when he drops the eraser, he picks it up and sees his name on the eraser, so he's under the assumption that he has a crush on him. And uh, yeah, you have him now getting mixed up with, you know, his feelings. Does he have feelings for the girl? Does he have feelings for the guy now? And it's cute. It's so just endearing as well. Um, very funny at times. The artwork's also done really well, but it's just such a, you know, it's a refreshing shoujo that follows the guys as main characters, which is very, um, it's refreshing, refreshing to see. And uh, I really enjoy just, you know, seeing a main character that is uh, bisexual in a shoujo series. So yes, look at them. They're so cute. Uh, volume 2 is coming out in just a few days as well, so I'm very much looking forward to that. But if you haven't picked up My Love Mix-Up, it's adorable. Really recommend it. And now for another intense shoujo, we have Prince Freya. This guy, who I, whenever I read it, I end up screaming because of all the twists and turns and oh my basically you cannot get attached to any character it's the shoujo version of a uh, game of thrones it's intense it's a historical fantasy you know series with a lot of action you know, there's some gore in there as well there's some romance honestly it's not even like the focal point of this story so you have freya who is a young girl who you know is kind of uh weak she cries a lot she's very fragile and uh she happens to resemble the prince and once the prince is killed off, she basically has to take over his place in order to save her kingdom. And uh, yeah, it's, like I said, very intense. So you have Freya cutting her hair and the prince asking her to um, 
to take his place that way the kingdom won't go down so yes i like i said it will leave you literally screaming the artwork is beautiful but the plot for a shoujo damn this is intense volume five things got a little spicy as well so yes if you just want to go down a wild journey uh i highly recommend prince freya if you're someone that just thinks shoujo is not for you it's too fluffy too much romance i can't do this um these two prince freya queen's quality these two series will prove you wrong so yes these were my top picks for shoujo manga of 2021 let me know what some of your favorites were i had to leave some off like snow White with the red hair that i love but yeah prince freya was a recent read and it exceeded all my expectations so i had to include this in this video so yes if you're brand new make sure to subscribe to keep up with my videos and uh, follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram follow me on twitter all the social media links are down below in the information box and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye <laughs>